Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, right, so we're back again doing the daily races. I thought, why not? You know, uh, I did have a bash at the Nations on Tuesday, but I mean, just into turn one, it was carnage. And by the time we got halfway around the track, I was in last place. Uh, I think I had the better part of 18 seconds worth of penalties because allegedly if somebody rams you off, uh, you know, it's your fault. You shouldn't have been there for them to hit, I guess. So, yeah, even though Fabuki created me a lovely livery for the GR1 car that I was driving, um, yeah, it, it was all in vain because it was literally just a, a ram fest. It really was. It, it wasn't pretty and I just couldn't bring myself to do a video for it because it was just that bad. So here we go anyway, we're into turn one and I turn maybe a little bit too late there so I kind of, you know, I deserved that off the Mercedes, I really did. But we'll gloss over it for now and just carry on. All right, so we're in 10th. Starting in 9th, we're in 10th, not the end of the world, is it? So, ooh, going in a little bit too hot there and ooh, a little bit of uh, opposite lock to try and stop myself spinning. And now we're down to 11th. This is definitely a Craden race, you can tell. So, all I really want to do here is just... Oh, that guy came a bit hot. Uh, no, I'm not quite sure why he did that. As, uh, I think that was a Ferrari just went spinning off. I did notice that even in the daily races, they were being a bit... That's a polite way of putting it. Um, aggressive, shall we say. They were definitely driving with the elbows out which is a uh, style I think I need to adopt and fairly sharpish. So yeah, in 11th we've got our fellow Brit in front of us. And um, let's see if we can have him in the next corner. In fact, you know, I, I, I think we do have him in the next corner and I want you to watch the in picture because you'll see that I don't even get anywhere near him and he just goes off the track, which I thought was wonderful. I, I presume that's just his way of saying, here you go mate have 10th and you know thumbs up to him for that one great respect because if you give me a place then you know I don't have to fight for it and I like that so here we go we're coming up to basically the last set of corners for the lap now and I have been watching quite a few uh, other tubers videos and seeing you know where they drive on the track when they break blah 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 I know try hard stuff and oh, there's a bit of argy-bargy in the corner here, so thank you very much, that promotes me up to ninth. Uh, but because I play on a pad, I do find it a little difficult, you know, just to get exactly the same lines. I mean, I, I'm sure if I was to put in even more practice, oh, sorry fella, then I would, you know, um, I'm not going to say be as good as somebody on a wheel, but at, at least a little bit more competitive because at the moment I feel like uh, I'm just falling by the wayside a little bit. Yeah, didn't get very good uh, exit speed there as the guy serving his penalty does the time on tradition of doing it on the racing line. I said, oh, okay. I knew you were there, fellow. I've got radar on, don't panic. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> Two second penalty. It's okay, it's alright, I can live with it. It's, it. It is what it is. I'm still in the top 10. Uh, I, I think I'm probably better than the guy in front of me because I keep having to lift off, so I'm going to have him into the uh, next hairpin. I wish I knew the names of these corners, or even if these corners have real names. But he's going to break. Well, just a little bit too late and force himself a little bit wide, I thought. But yeah, just take him in the corner, nice and tight. Uh, Learned that line from Super GT. I know, I know. I'm going to get a copyright strike for that because I'm copying someone. Right, we jumped forward a bit because nothing was really happening. The Ferrari in the last corner there getting it very wrong. Now I want you to watch this, young man. Because, yeah. I break slightly later than the Mercedes, and the Spaniard just decides, do you know what, let's just not use brakes and use me as a brake instead. Now, after what I witnessed in the uh, Nations race, I, I ain't going to lie, I was a little flustered. 
flustered would be an understatement, but I don't want to swear. So now I'm in basically rage mode, as in fellow Brit there facing the wrong way. And as you can see, it's me. When I get flustered, I make mistakes, as we all do. Right, serve my penalty. Let's crack on with this. Come on. So, oh, cheers, fella. Opposite lock again. Um, exactly the same corner as the last time I got a penalty, and this time the car glances off me and actually hits the wall. But I don't get a penalty for it. Please explain. Somebody please explain, because I don't know what's going on anymore. Right, so all we can do now is damage limitation. We're in 12th place. <gasps> Literally just unghosted right in front of me. But that's okay because that was our fellow, our, our friendly Spaniard who uh, smashed me off into turn one. But yeah, we, we jumped forward a little bit and as you can see I've just taken somebody. So I'm now back in 10th. And um, really, th this is it. This is, this is limbo land now. I don't really gain anything from here. I mean, I'd love to sit here and go, what just happened? <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's just one of those things, I guess. I just... I don't know. I, I seem to be able to do some tracks really well and some tracks I, I just struggle with. I actually think I'm quite good at this track when I put my head into it. But I really struggled with this one. So here you go. Confirmation that a noob and I can only race to the mid-pack. Uh, as I come across the line in what is obviously a very mediocre tenth place. So, there we go. So, there's confirmation on my tenth place and the date and time that I did it at. So, yeah. Hmm. But you know what? I wasn't too disheartened. I went away. I calmed down. I did some practice. Yes, practice. And then I went back for more. My qualifying time was a little bit better. So here we go, same race, same track. I'm in third. I actually qualified third for a race. Can you believe that? I mean, look, actual proof there. I'm not saying that's the position I'm finishing, but I actually qualified in third place. Oh, designed by Fabuki. Just saying. Right, so let's see how badly I can do with this. I don't know why. I, I actually start rocking when it does the like tyre warm up either. So anyway, here we go. Right, I'm in the first three, coming into turn one. I've got, I've got this horrible foreboding feeling that it's just going to go completely wrong. So I'll go nice and tight into the corner, and um, nothing happens. It's, um, it's all rather nice, really. Every, everybody's behaved themselves. Ooh, it's a good job I ghosted there, or I would have been right up that guy's chuff. You know, haven't even bought him dinner or anything, that'd be wrong. So the aim on this, I mean, if you can, I don't think you can see it from this angle, but um, my door number is 10 but I qualified third, so I, I don't know what that says about the calibre of people, oh, bump draft calibre of people in this lobby. But I'm in second now, and the guy in first, well, he's, he's not exactly pulling away from me. In fact, well, yeah, okay, he's a bit, but in a bit, you'll see that that's not that much of a problem, because um, he does what I do when I'm in first place, and that's um, stick it in a wall. Which obviously means he's lost all of his momentum now. Fair play to him. He leaves me enough room to go up the inside. And we come down to my favourite corner. Which, now that I've had a bit of practice on, I'm a little bit better at. Cut it like a, a complete noob. But, you know, that's what everybody seems to do on that corner. And it works. So, um, I'm in first place. Uh, one thing I did notice was... Um, Obviously, you know, I'd, I'd had a little bit of practice, I'd had about, what, 10 minutes practice, and just tried to settle myself down a little bit, go very wide on that corner, but I didn't try to correct my mistake, I just tried to drive through it, which is something I wouldn't normally do. If I saw the grass, normally I'd slam the brakes on, 
and you know try and steer off it. You no, know, I just literally if I'm going to get a penalty for it, I accept the penalty. And at the end of lap one, I'm three and a half seconds up. There is now, if you look on the mini map, there's now a tangible gap, a visible gap between me and second place. Now this is a bit of uh, strange territory for me. Here we go, staying as close to the left as I can to make sure that I get a better entrance onto the right hand turn there. Uh, that's something else as well that I uh, may or may not have nicked from Super GT. But as the race progresses, I mean, I'm not the best driver on GT Sport, I'm really not. But just by watching other people's uh, YouTube videos and just putting a little bit of practice, it's only a little bit of practice. I mean, like my qualifying time was at t two minutes something. So it was, uh, I don't know, like, it was almost a two minute dead. But just by, you know, trying to implement what the other guys use, and I'll, I'll say it again, I am on a pad, not a wheel, so I'm not going to be as smooth as those guys. But I'm, I'm romping ahead now. It's my lad, one of my lads actually, my eldest lad, who a few of you may know because we have gamed with him in the past. Um, he actually turned around and said, Dad, you're going to have to make this video because nobody will believe you came in first. Because if I'm being honest, I didn't believe I stayed in first for this long either. Um, and the gap that I'm pulling out, but I don't understand how all of a sudden everybody's become worse than me at GT Sport. Or I have just been the luckiest person on the planet and I'm the most experienced driver in a complete room full of noobs. Properly confusing. Now I'd love to say that I'm going to let you have a lap in silence but that ain't going to happen. Right, now what I did notice as I started watching the replay was I've started spotting my own mistakes. I mean like here I'm way too slow in that corner. I could have carried a lot more speed there. I go out nicely, but I don't turn in early enough on that corner. And it's the same with this one as well. I could have been up on the corner a bit more so that I could get on the power a little bit quicker, I guess. And this corner here, I do suffer with this corner because in my mind I'm thinking stay out left and turn in as late as you can so you get better exit speed. But I always end up hugging that right hand bend there and I, I don't know why it, it literally just draws me in like a moth to the flame yeah well I'm sure I'll get it at some point but even here um, I, I enter this section here way too slow um, the exit of this section I've, I've always been fairly good at but then it's not that hard a section really um, and thanks to Super GT this corner is now a lot better than it ever used to be. I'm braking a lot later. Normally I'd brake at those two cones that we just passed. Now, you know, it's way past the end of the wall and I'm just carrying so much speed into this corner that I'm, look, six seconds in front. Never in the history of me playing this game have I ever been six seconds in front of anyone unless we're using Samba buses and it's, uh, you know, really silly settings or something like that. So a little bit too tight on that corner, I thought. Right. If you go too tight on that corner, one thing I have found, it does compromise your exit on the second part. But it's like here, brake later than I normally would. Don't change down to second gear like I normally would. I'm back on the power a lot all up oh, here. Having a stroke because I'm so excited. A lot earlier on the power than I normally would. And now we're starting the last lap of the race, and I'm seven seconds up the road. I full on, I literally didn't have a clue and I decided that, do you know what, just chill, settle down, you've got a 7 second buffer, you can let them catch you a little bit and everything will still be fine, but don't try to race per se the last lap, just get it done, and then for some unknown reason, in the back of my mind I thought, oh I wonder how late I can break into this corner, and you guessed it, I do what only Craden does, and that's break way too late. Didn't hit the wall, but that cone's a den. I didn't need to do that there, that's something I should be doing in practice. But because I was so far ahead, I got cocky, 
And luckily for me, I did have se a seven second buffer and the guys behind were still fighting or doing whatever it was they were doing. So they suffered for it. Um, I'm very lucky that I didn't muck my whole race up in that one corner. So here we go. We're coming down to my favourite hairpin. Okay, I'm only three and a half seconds up the road now, but that's still three and a half seconds. I'd have to do something monumentally stupid to lose this race now. Wouldn't I? Really? Right, and unfortunately, some of you guys are going, oh no, it's Craydon, he's going to do something stupid. Um, luckily for me, I calmed down really, really quickly for this race. Uh, after that off, when I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll still keep taking it easy, we won't push as hard, but also we won't try anything new, we'll just drive it. So guess what? I win a race. I actually win. Bear in mind how long this game has been out, this is only my second win. So there you go anyway guys. Um, hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe, please leave me a comment, and I will see you all very, very soon. Doubt it'll be another win, but you never know. Take care all. Bye-bye now.